So these are the last G2 cars we'll be looking at. These are interesting in that, like the English cars, the carby trumpets and the steering wheel mirror assembly is the same colour as the car. Now, the English cars did that all the time, but with the Australian cars, you mainly have different coloured steering wheel mirror assembly and the carby trumpets to the actual body shell of the car. So these cars, like most of them, have had, I've done a little bit of restoration. So I put the numbers on, I put the tall rear tyres on, I've replaced the heads or re refixed them, they might have been there but loose and I replaced the braids. Okay, so looking at the inside. And sometimes the little terminal at the end of the wire is soldered on the other way so it goes goes in that way Look at the inside of the body shell. Now, I did that. I fixed that head in. Probably the head was missing. But actually, I haven't done this side. So... I'll actually have a look at that up close. That's an original weld for the head, so, and the shockers there, the carby trumpets, this one's all original. So we'll finish the video looking at the other side. All G2 cars were made in 1960. So from 1961 onwards, they used the G3 guide. And they'll be the subjects of my next videos. So that's the last pair of G2 cars from my collection to look at. I do have another green car, but that's a race tuned car with a broken engine. So I don't have a motor. I'm trying to get a motor for that. So I won't be doing a video of that. But from now on, we'll be looking at the G3 MM C54 Lotus 16.